the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Welcome. This is officially my first day as your associate pastor. I'm glad to be here and see so many, so many people on this beautiful summer morning. My name is Father Mark Ani, just ordained on June 11th, so welcome. Start our Mass today, let us rec recognize and, and call to our, our minds our sinfulness and our need for God and His presence in our lives, that we may celebrate the sacred mysteries with true hearts that are joined to God's. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God, who through the grace of adoption has chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. Then truly will the Lord, the God of hosts, be with you as you claim. Hate evil and love good, and let justice prevail at the gate. Then it may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will have pity on the remnant of Joseph. I hate, I spurn your feasts, says the Lord. I take no pleasure in your solemnities. Your cereal offerings I will not accept, nor consider your stall-fed peace offerings. Away with your noisy songs. I will not listen to the melodies of your harps. But if you would offer me burnt offerings, then let justice surge like water and goodness like an unfailing stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Hear my people and I will speak. Israel, I will testify against you. God, your God, am I. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. For your burnt offerings are always before me. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. For mine are all the animals of the forest, beasts by the thousand on my mountains. I know all the birds of the air, and whatever stirs in the plains belongs to me. If I were hungry, I should not tell you, for mine are the world and its fullness. Do I eat the flesh of strong bulls, or is the blood of goats my drink? Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Father will to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Alleluia, alleluia. The 
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came to the territory of the Gardarnias, two demonics who were, who were coming from the tombs met him. They were so savage that no one would travel by the road. They cried out, what have you to do with us, son of God? Have you come to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of many swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, if you drive us out, send us into the, the, the herd of swine. And he said to them, go then. They came out and entered the swine, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea, where they drowned. The swine herds ran away, and when they came to the town, they reported everything, including what had happened to the demonics. Therefore, the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's gospel is, is really kind of a different parable because in this situation, the demoniacs asked to leave the men and be put into the swine. And the, and the reason they asked that is because they knew they were going to hell. And they knew the swine who do not have a soul like us would cease to exist. So they knew they would rather not exist than dwell in hell. And so it's, it's real interesting because most of the times in the parables where Jesus takes the demons out of people, Jesus has to be the one pursuing it or the demons aren't asking to leave. They're actually trying to fight to stay in the person. So this is really an interesting parable for us to just think about that the demons actually requested to come out of the, out of the, out of the man. And um, it's just real interesting to really think about and to think about then all these people that witnessed all of these swine that went over the cliff. Um, I was actually there and saw the place in, in outside of Jerusalem, my classmates uh, this past January. It was very interesting to see and how everyone who witnessed and heard of this story, how Jesus drove them out, they wanted nothing to do with Jesus. And so what does Jesus do? He moves on because Jesus never forces himself into our lives. It's always a choice that we have to either recognize and accept his love and what he wants to give us or we can reject it. He never forces us. So today's gospel is kind of a lesson about our own faith and how our faith is a gift and we choose to nourish it or we choose make choices that help, help it to dissipate. But you're all here today, and the beauty of, of daily Mass is you desire to be here, and you desire to foster your faith. And so let us just think for a minute and thank God for the gift of our faith and ask him to come to us today to help to strengthen and help our faith to grow so that all that we encounter in our family, in our work, and our daily interactions with others, that they may see the love of Christ that he has given to each of us and the gift of our faith that we may share it with them. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent us as, as Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we bring by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once again, once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also your brothers and sis our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. As a faith community, we'll pray the memorare for those who are suffering with the COVID and those who have passed. Remember, O gracious Virgin Mary, never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of thy word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy clemency hear and answer me. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Have a blessed day. Glad to be here. It's an honor to be with all of you.